Did you know Miguel O'Hara, Spider-Man 2099, is getting his own symbiote suit? The original creator and writer, Peter David, is taking over the mantle once again. Along with Rohe Antonio, he makes the page pop. Look at this homage panel from the original Spider-Man 2099. Along with this panel's concussive explosions and corrosive acid, Miguel O'Hara is back as Spider-Man 2099. Along with Kron Stone, his evil stepbrother, and the current host of Symbiote Venom 2099. It's on. Gil O'Hara is now president of Alchemix and has found out that one of his employees are working on a symbiote suit. One that spawned from the Venom symbiote. When confronted by Spider-Man 2099, Dr. Hippie refuses to destroy the suit and has an attack. Miguel O'Hara. And the next thing happens. He becomes Symbiote Spider-Man 2099. Symbiote Spider-Man 2099, episode number two. Miguel O'Hara gets his new symbiote suit. Let's go. Miguel O'Hara now must choose who's control of the suit, him or this alien beast. If someone's going to die, it's his choice. Meanwhile, Crown Stone is in a bar with the chameleon get in disguise so he can enter Alchemix as Miguel O'Hara. Miguel O'Hara is an Alchemix as well, along with Tyler Stone, the father of the Symbiote Brothers. As Miguel approaches Tyler Stone, something's wrong. Lila recognizes his bio are not correct. It's Venom 2099, and he's here to kill Tyler Stone to take back what is rightfully his. But not if Miguel O'Hara can stop him. Symbiote Spider-Man 2099, Spider-Man 2.0. After the Symbiote's tussle, Venom 2099 offers his brother a deal to join his side, and he'll leave everyone in peace. Well, Miguel O'Hara accepts, and let's see what happens in the next episode. Symbiote Spider-Man 2099 Episode 3. The two symbiote bros are about to get together to wreak some havoc, but Miguel wants to make sure they don't kill anyone. So he takes the guards out with non-lethal tactics, using those symbiotic tendrils. The two symbiotes make a break for it, but they start arguing on the roof and Spider-Man gives Venom a taste of his own medicine. Venom enters Doctor Strange 2099. She's here to help Spider-Man after sensing the change, but Venom wants none of it. Outclass and outnumbered, Doctor Strange is off to find a new sorcerer. The two symbiotes arrive at the Santorum Sanctum, where they're here to find Doctor Strange, but instead, they find the cannibalistic vulture, and Miguel O'Hara doesn't want to hold back this time. Knowing what's good for him, Vulture gets out of there ASAP Rocky. Next, you see Doctor Strange align herself with none other than Doctor Doom, the president of 2099. Let's see what happens in the next episode. Symbiote Spider-Man 2099, issue number four. Check out this symbiote rivalry. Back to Nueva York in the Sanctum Santorum. Miguel O'Hara is hot pursuit of the Vulture 2099. Spider-Man wraps up the Vulture and sends him crashing down towards Earth. Before the Vulture takes the fatal blow, Doctor Strange saves him. She's here to stop Spider-Man from becoming a murderer. First, Spider-Man tries to attack Doctor Strange along with Venom, but they can't hurt her in her astral form. Strange then proceeds to make a magical barrier to protect the Sanctum Centaur. The duo departs for debauchery. Enters Doom 2099, here to ask Gabriel O'Hara to help him stop his brother, Spider-Man. The symbiote scoundrels come crashing out of the museum riding a T-Rex fossil attacking the officers. But Miguel O'Hara is fed up with this, and fed up with his symbiote, and needs time to think by himself. Gabriel O'Hara shows up to try to convince his brother to stop this whole Venom thing. But it's too late. Venom has landed a killing blow on Gabriel, turning Miguel into a killing machine. Let's see what happens next on episode five. The conclusion of Symbiote Spider-Man 2099. Everything is going according to Dr. Doom's plan. Spider-Man will take revenge for his brother and set everything right. Miguel O'Hara, along with his inner turmoil, is having an existential crisis battling Venom 29 and his own symbiote. Miguel O'Hara knows him and Venom are unstoppable killing machines, and countless victims will follow in their path of destruction. He must put an end to Venom 2099. Spider-Man leaves Venom away from the innocents. He has a plan to take control of both the symbiotes using his tendrils, convincing the Venom 29 symbiote to leave his host and join him to become supreme and superior in every way. Miguel O'Hara was able to convince the Venom 29 symbiote to pool with him, and as he does, Cronstone falls to his death. Miguel's plan is not complete yet. He activates Sonic Scream, and both the symbiotes are dispersed from his body. Miguel O'Hara, now free of the symbiote control, now is determined to make things right for his brother, Gabriel O'Hara, who miraculously survived.